control arms have an extremely important job. They connect the body of the vehicle to the wheels and serve as pivot points in the suspension system. When you hit a pothole and the wheels stay on the road, you have control arms to thank. Control arms enable the wheels to move up and down independently while the vehicle frame remains level for a smooth and even ride. Since the mid-2000s, we've been seeing more and more new vehicles rolling off the assembly line with lightweight, corrosion-resistant, unitized aluminum control arms. It's no secret why OEMs are using this type of construction. Since the ball joint is integrated directly into the control arm, a separate housing for the ball joint is not required, which saves money and reduces the overall weight of the control arm. With automakers under continued pressure to meet corporate average fuel economy standards, it's likely they'll continue to favor these unitized control arms. The downside to these unitized aluminum control arm designs are that they use polymer or plastic bearings as the mating surface for the ball joint. They do this because aluminum is a relatively soft metal and polymer won't damage it. But here's the problem. Polymer bearings are sealed and non-greasable and they're sensitive to heat. In the tight quarters of the undercar, heat from the brakes may be transferred directly to the control arm, which softens up the ball joint's polymer bearing, causing the bearing to stretch, deform, and ultimately disintegrate. And this can lead to premature failure of the control arm. It seems that in solving one problem, the OE design can create another one. The good news is that the aftermarket has a solution to extend the service life of these unitized aluminum control arms. Mavotech has developed a method of threading a metal ball joint housing and a sintered metal bearing into an aluminum control arm without the stronger metal damaging the softer aluminum arm. Known as bimetallic technology, Mavotech's patented design enables a greasable, self-lubricating sintered metal bearing to be placed in a unitized aluminum control arm instead of a polymer bearing. The integrated sintered metal bearing is engineered to excel in high heat and high load conditions, creating a more durable, longer lasting part that won't melt or deform. Because the ball joint is greasable, the old grease and contaminants can be flushed out during inspection and maintenance. Also, the control arm has a corrosion resistant coating that protects the part from road debris and the elements. Finally, the control arm body itself is strengthened by improving upon the original forging profile. Mevotech says its patented bimetallic technology allows these replacement control arms to remain true to the OEM aluminum specification while improving upon the OE design with sintered metal bearings that are impervious to heat and last up to three times longer than polymer. And whether your customer is a technician or a DIYer, they'll appreciate the fact that new replacement hardware is included for a complete installation. Mevotech's Supreme Unitized Control Arm with Bimetallic Technology is available for a number of applications where the plastic OE style bearing has been problematic, such as the 2004 through 2012 Chevy Malibu, the 2013 through 2020 Ford Fusion, the 2007 through 2018 Nissan Altima, and 2009 through 2021 Nissan Maxima, and other domestic and import passenger vehicles, SUVs, and minivans. Thanks for watching.